Good morning, BoatingBanner.com fans. Captain Larry here. Chapter 24. Uh, I told you we were going to do the uh, captain's chairs for our well craft project. And unfortunately, the chairs, when I opened them up, were a mess. They're all rotted out. So I've had to order new chairs, basically. And we'll get into all of the details on that in further chapters. So what I decided to do is skip ahead. Uh, skip ahead and we're going to go into three kind of quick repairs. We're going to repair um, this cushion. This is a typical cushion. Every, everything is in very, very good shape, but again, with the exception of the brown or the tan product where we're ripped and all that. So I'll show you how uh, we're going to just, we have to disassemble this totally. As you see, it's pretty ugly under here too, so we're going to pull all of this off. But uh, we're just simply going to replace this strip and reassemble it. So it's going to be a short video. And, uh, but I'll show you how to do that. I'm much bigger fan of replacing these things rather than trying to, to uh, mend them with tape and all that other stuff. I think it looks very tacky. So I'll show you, it's a, it's a quick, it's inexpensive, and it's gonna look like a million dollars, I bet, when we get done. So that will be our first thing we'll do. <clears throat> Secondly, I'm going to do a backrest. Exact same thing where the uh, the vinyl, the piping is all in great shape again, except for this brown. Uh, what I like about this one, which will be coming off different here, is we'll have an inside corner. Inside corners are always the toughest to uh, get get the wrinkles out of, and so I'll show you how to do that. So that would be a good education for us. <clears throat> and thirdly, we'll do this total cushion. You see, there's no piping on it. There's no other colors on it, but what I like about it, which we haven't done before, it has a nice bullnose front. So you can see the seams are coming apart, so I'm just going to redo this whole thing in this one color. But I will show you how the boxing, normally I told you where the boxing is usually very square all the way around. Uh, this has no boxing on the back, but it does have it on uh, both sides. and. Uh, front is just wrapped over, so it's just the box here on the side. But it will show us the bullnose uh, modification you need to make. So here's three kind of quick projects. One, like a, you know, a complete redo of this cushion here. And then we'll show you an inside corner for the uh, backrest, replacing that. And then again, the uh, hopefully the easiest one will be our first one, the, uh, the cushion. So. I'll be right back and we'll get going on that cushion. Here we go on the cushion. Let's get going on here first. We've got to remove this item. The good thing about this, as I had mentioned before, the item pulls out all of the, virtually all the staples. On the, what we use to put the item down, so that helps. <clears throat> now the one thing kind of different than this that we uh, we didn't do when we do those total redos is we've got to be a lot more careful with the uh, vial because obviously we're trying to save the vial and we're only going to replace one one piece. So I'm uh, always going to be concerned with trying to keep the vinyl in good shape that we're saving. Well, I will just continue getting these staples out and I'll bring you right back. Come back 
I got it disassembled with the back off and the uh, item and all that. I wanted to show you, it's a little unusual. Uh, they have a they have two pieces of foam here and they have a hold down strip, which uh, I don't think I've ever seen in, in a, just a cushion like this, but I guess that's a good idea. Anyway, so that's all you have to do is just staple down and uh, the positive on this one it's on the white side of this seam so we won't even have to replace this I want to save it and just use it for retacking down and so now we will all have to do is pull this apart with the seam ripper so let's get going on okay here we go uh, like I said when you take these off again you have to really be careful uh, taking these staples off that you don't <laughs> I almost did it ram this thing through the side here uh, so just be careful and take them on don't do the the quick pulling move you know <laughs> method <laughs> take your time okay all we're going to try to do is use the seam ripper get it on the seam see if we can't Try to do this gently. Well, let's see. All of a sudden, I've already got a little a couple of rips there. This is a little bit old, so I can fold them over. So I should be all right. Thought I'd just cut that off. A little safer way than trying to just run this thing through where you, you have a good chance of cutting the Bible. Just keep pulling it apart like that so we know that the thread is separating not the vinyl. Okay, I'll just keep going around and get this thing separated and bring it right back. Here we have our two pieces cut out. This is the main piece here, and this is the boxing that goes around it. Now, I've also simply traced, and this is the, the vinyl I chose to uh, hopefully duplicate. It <laughs> doesn't look exactly like, but hey, close as I could come. Now when you're tracing, again I'm using my scriber, uh, just check the sides, the seam sides you need, I'm, I'm going to use a half inch. Now this is the staple side. When you get to a staple side, it simply means you don't have to uh, worry about the half inch. So you pretty much cover that directly. But now the seam size, of course, you've got to have they have your half inch allowance. And this is the staple side, so hold oh, it a straight line. Okay, I will cut them up and we'll get ready. Okay, please welcome back everybody. Okay, we got that strap section of the plate finished. Came out pretty good. Um, where I had trouble were, were these corners, this one here and this one here. Uh, a lot of folding and
pulling and all that to get that around, but you just got to stay with it. I don't know how else to do it, but that will round off the uh, boxing on the, uh, on the cushion. Looks pretty good, I think. So I will uh, put it on now and let's and bring you back when we're finished and uh, we can see what we got it up with. Hi again, welcome back. Uh, okay, I finished attaching it. So uh, that's what the bottom looks like. Wood's in okay shape. With my boat, I probably would have replaced that, but looks all right. Foam was in good shape. Looks real good. It's a good product. Came out pretty nice. So I'm always going to clean it up. Going to put the uh, backing on. Nice, and I'm going to use this white chalk to call it uh, hide them since I have the most of it, and that's what I'm going to have to use for the whole project, even though maybe the, the oyster one would have been a little bit better for this one, too. But this one I have. So I will tack that on, put the hide them on, and bring it back, and we'll review. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Here's Captain Larry again. We are done. Now, this only took us two hours. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a long time or a short time or whatever, but uh, it's really the difference between doing an entire cushion over again and just really doing one strip. Uh, obviously the cost is very low, uh, my time was free. <laughs> so uh, anyway, it looked pretty good, huh? This is what we did. Looked pretty good, a little bumpy in a couple of spots, the line's not too bad. Like I say, and the rest of the vinyl is in really, really nice shape. So I'm assuming this this will last, uh, I don't know, 10 years for the guy or whoever ends up buying his boat. And uh, looks now like a, I don't know about a new piece of uh, vinyl, but uh, it looks pretty pretty new. And that's the only one we had to do, got to replace it. So the cost was virtually nothing. I don't know how many square feet that even is, you know. That's Sixteen dollars a yard, so that didn't even cost us, you know, two dollars uh, to replace. Really, basically, fix this entire two hours and two dollars, and we're done. Maybe the foam was in good shape. Uh, the one thing that I would like to uh, bring about, though, uh, let you know about, I mean, is that the uh, the hold down strip was right here. I, all you do is you got to put that in first, and then you. Staple it in, and this one here I uh, had to put it on this way. The good news, bad news with uh, redoing things like this, I'm sure at the bottom, is that all of the vinyl obviously you leave on there is already pre measured and pre curved to go around the sides. Well, it makes it <laughs> nice, but uh, makes it a little harder to get on. So I had to start, I tacked. It staples the hold down strip here, put this end on first, and just pulled it up and over. So that's what it was, just wasn't hard. Anyway, and here's the back. That looks pretty good. <coughs> a little bumpy in a couple of spots, but that's from the piping going over. Uh, can't do anything about that, I guess. But anyway, that looks good. That's a almost new cushion for two bucks in two hours. So. I highly recommend them. I said these are the kind of boats I like to buy where I'm only having to fix pieces of them rather than having to like the well craft. This is for the, the Monterey uh, product, uh, but the well craft where we had to do the whole thing. The foam was pretty good on this, the wood was pretty good on this, the vinyl here was all pretty good, and this was what the mess was. So anyway, looks really good now. Thanks for coming, and uh, next tomorrow we will go after the uh, backrest, and I'll show you how to do that inside curve in the repair. So that will be a good one for us. See you tomorrow. You guys have a great evening.